All right, good morning world. It is about 6.45 on the 29th of May. That's one of the potatoes that uh, is growing quite nicely. Apparently, if you add water to the desert, you can make things grow. That's kind of interesting. Of these six holes, five out of six have something that I can see growing that looks like a potato. That one, not yet, but it's still possible. And I've got two more holes over there that uh, are about a week behind. I don't see anything yet there. That's kind of cool. Woodpile, getting a little bit smaller. I restacked things and organized. Things were in the, things were kind of mixed up. So now they're less mixed up. Um, <clears throat> day before yesterday, I saw my first rattlesnake for the year. It was under the pile that was there. I was pulling off two by sixes and I saw a tail wiggle. I'm like, yikes. So I very carefully unstacked the rest of the wood and the snake kept moving over every time I moved it. So since snakes eat mice and I'm chicken, I let it live. It wasn't a threat to me, but I had a shovel close by just in case. Anyway, I do have video of it, so someday I'll get that uploaded. So, the news for this episode... Oh, just missed it. There's a rabbit in the background. Yeah, there's something happened on the house. My floor joists are all in place. And now I'm ready to start putting down subfloor. From here, it should go pretty fast. That actually was two days worth of work that went relatively quickly part of it was just standing there and looking at it trying to figure out what to do next but um the reason i stopped where i did is i decided i should put in my drains first because i don't have a lot of room underneath so i really didn't want to have to crawl underneath and uh, you want to be able to level the drains so that or not level them but slope them which is hard to do if you can't reach them so I'm going to go into town and buy some more parts. Ironically, I would have had enough parts for this, but I used them for something else. Yeah, typical. But yeah, uh, the sink will be there and the shower will be over there. Wonderful. Once that's down, these go in really fast. And then from there, I can start standing up walls, which I've got almost enough wood to do all the walls already. So. When I go to town, I'm going to pick up some more stuff again. Yay! Let's see, in other news, um, I did another update. Um, there's another update I did last week, but it never uploaded. So if you see this and you didn't see the other one, there's one, there's two updates that are going to come up at the same time. So I'll check the dates so you get them in order. Um last few days my showers haven't been very warm the irony of the insulated tank is that it's keeping the water from getting warm if I don't add heat to it I haven't been running the pump as often so that the, the collectors aren't getting more heat to put in the tank uh, I had a timer for the pump and it's been giving me trouble so then then I just took it out because it was running the pump continuously and running the battery dead so I didn't need that so I took it out again but then I keep forgetting to walk over and hit the switch I need to run the pump but about five minutes every hour would be about right so I'm messing with that I'm still trying to get that figured out so even though it's been 100 degrees the 100 degrees of the air temperature isn't getting to the water in the tank so now my shower is getting cold again so I'm going to get that working um oh, right in the shadow here Let's see if we can get a zoom in here. There we go. Um, about 15 feet away. Good morning, Mr. Bunny. Probably Mrs. Bunny, right? You gonna say hi? <laughs> if you're quiet, they don't really just run away. They just kind of check you out. I've had some days where they walk right up to you. 
not pets, but still pretty cool. I've had days I almost stepped on them too. Solar panels, um, I need to finish wiring, but otherwise they're done. Oh, this was, oh, hang on. There we go. Solar panels are mounted and done, but I need to finish the wiring. They're working, they're just kind of temporarily wired. The other big project, the battery box used to be next to the bus, and so when I moved it, I rewired everything. I uh, used up, this is why I didn't have enough plumbing to do my drains. I ran all my electricals through PVC pipe. The gray pipe, looks a little bit different than the white, uh, is actually electrical conduit PVC. And then I thought, well, I got a bunch of two inch PVC, let's go ahead and use that also. So there's electrical running through this that goes all the way back to the bus. And that two inch, if I had not used it, I would have had enough to do my drain. Yeah, go figure. And then this box uh, has the water pump, the connections for the hot water heating loop, AC power, DC power, and something else it seems like. All comes into that same box. I'm calling that the utility box. It's not quite finished, but it's close enough. I'm going to have to put a hinge on the door. Right now it's screwed shut. Um, but I've been uh, plugging my uh, air compressor into that. And that makes it nice because I can put the air compressor right here, plug it into the box, and I've got enough cord to cover the whole whole build site, and I'm, I'm good. And that way I don't have to keep running an extension cord over to there. Generator is also sitting next to that now, so if I need it, I can just plug the generator into the cord, and it goes right through the same connections. So I'm putting in real, like, house-style wiring on that, so... And that is also tied to the bus now. So I used to have, for the last two years, this window was always but an inch open and the cords ran through it. And, you know, so more dust blew in through that. So it's been very nice the last few days that I don't have any more windows open just for the sake of cords to run through. So that's, that's a pretty big deal. Uh, we're getting closer. So now all of my plumbing and electrical for the bus is running through that and it seems kind of funny to do that now but i figured okay i'm going to keep the washer and dryer in the bus when I, when the house is built and so by building the house kind of small but having the bus and now the new shop on the other side i've got a lot more space available to me you know instead of you know, the one thought was, well, I could build a house and then get rid of the bus, but then the house would have to be that much bigger, right? This way I can make a small house, keep the bus, have the shop, and I can spread things out a little bit. So that's kind of the idea. Um, so by taking the time to finish this thing now, when the house is done, I just connect this to the house and I'm done. So this part of the system is going to stay. The pump is going to stay in there, right? So that's, that's kind of, it's working out pretty good. It slowed me down kind of working through some of that, but I think it was worthwhile. So, and it looks kind of nice. Um, let's see, anything else? That's pretty much it, I think, for out here. Various scrap piles. I've been looking... Those are the windows I took out of the bus when I put in the insulated panels. And I'm toying with the idea of reusing the glass panels from that and making my own window frames for the house. I'm gonna buy some windows that open that have screens on them, you know, nice vinyl windows or something like that. But there's some places that I might use those and I think it would just be fun to have windows from the bus you know plus they're tinted so ah, a little bit in the shop it is so nice at the end of the day to just grab stuff and set it in here 
instead of trying to get it all back in the bus. This is this has been wonderful. For right now, I've I've had these folding tables since Austin, and uh, I'm like, okay, I'll just set them in here, and then I got something to put stuff on until I get back to building everything, you know. So, you know, I just walk in here, put it all down. Now, I don't have doors here. This is wide open. It's getting pretty dirty in here because the dust still blows through it. But at least it won't get wet because we got the ceiling, the roof. And then on this side, every screw and um, nail, you know, kind of stuff that I've got is all on this table. And it's all laid out so I can just come in and grab what I need. That's, that's been working out really well. And then towards the back is some of the plumbing stuff and and whatnot. So this is working out pretty good. And then this is all the storage stuff, the totes and everything that used to be in the camper shed. And uh, <laughs> this is kind of funny. I'm pretty sure those are the rabbit tracks. Every morning, probably that same one that we just saw, We'll come in and walk, walk up to my door from the outside and then kind of look in here and it seems like every day they get a little bit braver and they walk in and check it out and then they leave again. You know, oops. Yeah, good luck with auto exposure, I guess. Anyway. Yeah. That's been working out really well. I've gotten water since I built that. And you can just back the truck up to it and slide the tank out, put it in the truck, go to town, get water, come back, hook the tank up to that white pipe there, unload it, put the tank back over here. Simple. Life is good. That's it for now.